Hi, my name is Micah, and I've been involved with the BIRD project since inception in 2004, and I hope you find this video informative. Hello, and today we're going to talk about creating reusable components in a library. Uh, we're going to do this by using a classic example of an image for a trend line. So first, let's take a look at the report that we're going to be building. When I view the report, it's a simple report where we show the product line, the profit for 2011, the profit for 2012, and then a trend. And then we actually have an image that is going to show the trend. The image is going to show a green up arrow for a positive trend, a red down arrow for a negative trend, otherwise it's going to show a parallel yellow arrow. So let's take a look back at the report design. What you see here in this uh, image over here is that it's being used from a library. You can see this by that it has a link, a little image here, and that means it's being used in a library, and a little pencil here that just shows that we edited it locally. So let's take a look at the library. In the library, I have this dynamic image as one of my report items, and what it has is a named expression. A named expression is a custom user property that when used in a report, it will pop up the BERT expression builder. We have other user properties in this control, one for a high value that's going to be an integer, and one for the low value, which is also going to be an integer. So this will be used to select which image we're going to use. Now, how is that done? It's done in a simple script on this image. Let's take a look at that script. And what we're doing is we're getting a, we're setting a variable called val, which is going to get the value of that expression that we're going to use. It uses a function called get named expression value and the name expression that it's going to use is the one we created which is our GY binding name. And if that value is greater than the user property value of high value it's going to display the up.gif. If it's less than the low value it's going to display the down.gif otherwise it's going to show the even.gif. So how do we use this in the report? So let's go back to the report and let's actually delete that image. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag the image from the library again. So in the Resource Explorer, I drag this image in. And this would be a report developer that's going to be using this reusable component. Now the report developer might or might know JavaScript to be able to create this image. He might not know how this image was created or it could be a, a much more sophisticated reusable component that the report developer really does not know. Additionally, this might be a component that I want to use in many reports. So instead of creating this control over and over again in every report that I want to use, because it's popular in my environment, I'm going to create it once in a library and reuse it in any of my reports. So Right now, you can actually see that there's the uh, user properties, but I need to set these. So we're going to go into the advanced properties. And here you can actually see those user properties. So in my case, for the high value, I am going to set it at 100. My low value, I'm going to set it at minus 100. So anything between that will be kind of an even trend um, that I'm going to set. And then I'm going to go into my binding expression, my RGY binding name, and I'm going to, here now I have the expression builder that I have within um, BERT. And let's look at the available column bindings. I'm going to set it to be trend and say OK. And now I'm going to run this report. Now the report developer, again, didn't need to understand how this, this component was created. This can now be reused in any report that I want to show trend for any column using any values that I want. I hope you found this video very informative and hope to see you on Bird Exchange soon. Thank you.